All right, Coach, let's talk about this week in TSU basketball. You, you had two games. You won both of them. There were some ups and downs, but you got them in, and it was conference games. Right, absolutely. And uh, we've had a lot of games in you know several days, obviously, with their schedule being adjusted, uh, playing uh, the way that we have, and, and going from uh, um, the regular schedule and playing on the Sunday, then bouncing back and going Tuesday, Thursday. He got a board of playing tomorrow and uh, he had out of town and, and play another Saturday, Monday schedule. It's a lot of games, a lot of days. Uh, but at the same time, your effort, uh, uh, have to make sure that it's there regardless of how many days you play. You're either going to be practicing uh, some of those days. So instead of practicing long days right now, we're cutting it short. We're game planning for our opponent. And we've got to be playing at a whole nother level. And it's almost like uh, we, we get into situations and we try to figure our opponent out or plan to see what the intensity level need to be about. When you're a great team, the intensity level is always there. You always rise to the occasion. And we've got to make sure that we continue trying to develop better habits this time of year. Although we won games, our habits certainly have got to change and get better. Do you one of the few teams in the area period that's been able to get your games in that you needed to and then schedule when you when you had to? Yeah, well, I think you have to certainly uh, give a great deal of credit to our administration. I think they've did a tremendous job in terms of making sure that uh, through our testing protocols, uh, the safety that they've built around our program and the team and here at the university, it's allowed and put our guys in, in pretty much of a, somewhat of a safe zone. And I think it's really helped us in terms of transition and being able to get our, our um, the games in. And not like everything's been so smooth. Obviously, we've gone through our deal around Christmas time, but at the same time uh, now, I think our guys have done a great job locking in, focusing, staying as uh, focused as they need to be to allow some things to happen for us. Getting back in conference play, talking about conference play for you all, the conference is regular season is winding down and you're getting ready for the tournament. Are you targeting anything or are you just take, still taking it game Absolutely. by game? Absolutely. No, we've got to be playing well at the right time. Our approach in these games really got to be about us and not our opponent. Uh, who are we? You know, we obviously hope that we've identified, we have an identity now of who we are, how hard we're going to play, uh, what we're going to do on the defensive end, and what we're about. A team, people should be able to sit in the stands, and teams should be able to look, this is who uh, Texas Southern basketball, this is what they're about, and we've got to make sure that we're able to do that, okay? And uh, to be able to do that every night, you got to come out and play your hardest. You want to be playing your best basketball in February and March. We're winning games, but we've got to make sure that we're improving night in and night out. The other thing, uh, you all met the uh, the, the, uh, set, the game uh, uh, amount of the amount of games uh, protocol. That's the first thing you got to do. Right. Then after that, you got to like prepare for conference tournament if there is one, and then to, looking beyond that, you just got to qualify. I certainly think that we'll have a, a conference tournament. I think it's going to be an exciting uh, tournament because I think how close the teams are and, and the great job that the teams are doing uh, in our league, and we certainly look forward to that. And you know that uh, generally that's the team that win the conference tournament, the ones that's going to represent our conference in the uh, NCAA tournament. So all the teams should be hitting on all cylinders of playing their best at that time because everybody look forward to trying to get to the dance in March. And uh, so that's certainly our goal as well. We feel like we've got the guys that are very capable of doing it. We've just got to make sure our attitude and our minds are right, getting into it at the right time to have an opportunity to be successful. One last thing. Uh, knowing that there will there'll be two opportunities to, to get past beyond the conference tournament, uh, the NC2A and the NIT, does it matter? I know everybody wants to get to, to, the, uh, to the big dance, but at the end of the day, you want to get beyond conference play. Yeah, we certainly want to make sure that we set our goals high, and the highest mark for us is winning the NSA tournament. Uh, I mean, winning the uh, conference tournament. So we can certainly go and represent our uh, team in uh, uh, the NSA tournament. Postseason play is always exciting. We had a chance to do that a few years back. Wind up winning more games, uh, the most games in the history of obviously the program, and it was crazy. We had about six or seven guys, and I think our team built and got strong and better uh, because of that and uh, from that experience. So uh, 
it was exciting for us, but our goal is to make sure we try to get to the NSA tournament. Since I didn't, wasn't able to get a chance to talk to you all after you all finished that run, how was that? Because that's basically just like anything else. It's one and done. you got to keep winning. And you all went on the road, and it was like work road warriors. I tell you, it was exciting. We got made it all the way to the uh, semifinals uh, you know, of the, uh, of the uh, tournament, and it was huge for us. I mean, it was absolutely big. Our guys were motivated. They were excited about playing the caliber of competition we were playing, and we were playing on other people. We weren't playing in neutral sites. It was the right. home floor of our opponents, and we couldn't have been more excited at the time. But uh, we got a taste of that, and uh, we still have some guys that are on this team that was a part of that, and we're hoping that we can reward those guys by uh, – getting back to postseason play and ultimately the NSA tournament. Is there anything that after that I missed about this weekend? TSU Tiger no, basketball. No, we're just uh, excited that we had some fans out that we were able to celebrate uh, after both games and, and getting victories. And now we've got to go on the road and uh, make sure that we do a good job of trying to hold serve and playing two good teams in Alabama State and Alabama and them on the road. All right, Coach Jones, reintroduce yourself and we'll close this out. Johnny Jones, head men's basketball coach of your Texas Southern Tigers. Go Tigers. This is Jerry Lee Wooler Jr., the College Sports Report.